Hello, welcome to another edition of the Sean's Two Cents. I'm here to review one of my favorite promotions, Beyond Wrestling. I love me some Beyond Wrestling. So I'm here to review the secret show that took place after Best of the Best. And guess how much I paid for this great show? Five dollars. You heard that right. Five dollars. You can get that deal too. And a great show. It was short, but it was good. There were some great matches that you just need to see. The main event was a wrestling clinic. This is how wrestling's supposed to be. It was an awesome feel. Beyond wrestling, one of the best upcoming companies there is. That music's amazing, and this Sunday's unbreakable. It's going to be awesome. Let's go, let's go into the card. What did you get for $5? The first couple matches were all right. You had a, just a couple CCW students, Frankie McCard. Defeated Connor Clax, and it was all right, about five seven minute match. Then has a comedy of Dick Jackson defeating Leon St. Giovanni. Not much here. Then the Juice Product and the Doom Patrol had a little uh, promo thing, which leads to the match later night. Then, then we had a good match. DJ High faced Air, Air Fox. Air Fox doing his heel stuff. A nice big guy versus fast guy match. I I really enjoyed DJ Hyder here. Air Air Fox made it entertaining. It was short. DJ Hyde got the upset win. I don't know DJ Hyde, why DJ Hyde got the win. It was odd. But it's a secret show. Who really cares? But Air Fox is a heel. I like the cocky attitude. I think he has that swagger to be like, ah, oh, I'm the best. What what up, man? Yeah. Then we had a, nice, a good little four way tag match. We had Dan Barry and Monster Mac. Monster Mac, very impressive. I would impressed with this guy. Big dude. Do a lot of good moves. Faced the Crusader Change, Darius Carter, TJ Marsoni. Versus Tabernacle Team and Kevin Grant Punch was like everybody got their stuff in. It was it was short for me. Danbury and Mark Smack got the win. Never really memorable, but they got the win. Then this is when the show started getting really good here. We had Jay Freddy's been tearing up with two CW for years. Faced Brian Danielson years ago. We had a great match against uh, Fujiwara's uh, some guy named Fujiwara from a uh, two CW's last live review. He's a few we haven't seen. He's a, he has a good match at the last secret shows. Just an awesome dude. Very, very has a lot of fun. He's a small dude, but he's always fired up. He's a lot of heart. And based on Air Corps, he's always pretty good. He has some inventor moves because he's has an inventor. You get it. J. Frey got a lot of offense. It's very impressive. This match, if you want to see what J. Frey is all about, this match is for it. Air Corps got the win. I don't like the, the matches where. One person gets all the offense, then the other person wins. But it was still an entertaining match. And Jay Freddy, hats off to you. I really want to see more Jay Freddy. They had a good entertaining matchup. We had Sex and Candy. Sugar Dark to Pinky Sanchez. Facing Milk Chocolate. A lot of butt play in this matchup. A lot of stuff I don't think I should see. These two matches right here. The, this match and the matchup we're going to talk about next. Some weird shit. Some shit that people are walk, walk, walking in on you watching and be like, What the fuck are you watching? But Sugar Dark to Pinky Sanchez is always entertaining. Facing Milk Chocolate, Brendan Watts, and Randy Summers. That's a weird tag team. I've seen it a couple times. Uh, not, not, not a lot to really give them a good opinion on them, but they're all right. Cecil Candy doing an entertaining tag match. Then we had uh, two guys that were competing in the best of the best that really impressed. We had uh, Speedball Mike Bailey, who really impressed me. The Dirty Bucks, Belmar, Belmar, what a character. God damn, I've never seen anything like it. Just dirty and smelly and dis disgusting. My ability was against the win, but it was a crazy match that had some weird things that you need to watch. 30 bucks Belmar is hard to explain. Uh, and Mike Bailey has some Kung Fu stuff, like kicks, so got a good uh, a standing corkscrew shooting star press. That is freaking awesome. So I love to see my Bailey. They're both confirmed to be back for CCW for May 10th. That's awesome. Then we had a crazy four-way that would end that one just all around, fast-paced. We had Ryan Rush, Shinron, Benny Martinez, and Nicholas K. Everybody got their stuff in. Everybody looked very impressive. Benny Martinez looked really impressive. I want to see more of him. Ryan Rush got the win. I heard Ryan Rush had a good match with Tomas Champa last Sunday. I heard he's like the next time we come here. Can't wait. Then we got an awesome tag match. This is how tag team wrestling is supposed to be. We had the Juicy Product, David Starr, Jitty Gun, the current CW Tag Champions, and they're just one of the four of the Pro Tag Champions. So they're just on top of their game right now. And Doom Patrol, Dickinson, Jocka, God damn, they hit like motherfuckers. Damn, this match is just fucking brutal. 
They chopped them like motherfucker. This is crazy. It's just a great tag match. Back and forth. Doom Patrol gets the win. It's interesting. Then we have the main event. These two matches, Doom Patrol, Cruiser Product, and Book Books of Doom Dutcher, those are worth the five dollars alone. I'll make sure I even lie about the five dollars. So I'm pretty sure the five dollars thing is still available. Don't want to say things I do not mean. Let's go to deals. It is five dollars in 1080p HD design graphics and shit. It's fun. We have Thatcher, who's from NorCal, been killing it back when everything's gone back east. And Vip is like, if you like Matt Wrestling, the first 10 minutes of the match, all Matt Wrestling, all the holds, great stuff. Didn't get a lot of striking. The striking is unbelievable here. Just catch you can wrestling. A little British style. I really enjoy it. I think Beastix right now, the mod, the, the, what Claudio used to be. He's getting to be that, that Claudio guy right now. He, this is what this is what Russell is now. All these guys are like up and comers like Jay Freddy, Chris Dickinson, Jocka, David Starr, Jay Dunn. These are the new class of stars. I love, I just love Beyond Wrestling's roster. Just look at this Sunday. This Sunday, Unbreakable, live from Fat Music, which will probably be on demand. Let's go to Uh Hold on for me, hold on. So, this Sunday, Fat Music, which is in Hartsford Island, if you're in that area, and you're not going, you're not a wrestling fan, I say. Door, 3 p.m. VIP, VIP, 3.30 doors open, 4 o'clock bell time, this is tomorrow night. You got Drew Gulag versus Kimberly. Oh my god, what a match is going to be? God damn. The Colony versus the Juicy Product. That's tag team match at its finest. Kevin Steen versus Biff Busick? Oh my lord. Young Bucks versus Team Tremendous? Oh my god, that's four matches. That's that's all that's been announced. And everything else is going to be awesome. Then there's going to be a secret show. That's before it. At the Chop Shop on Broadway. At 12 noon. It's going to be some good stuff. And it'll probably be on demand on VOD because Drew Cordero is very fast on this. This week, so it's been giving good stuff beyond wrestling. Support Barn Wrestling. Go to Look Mono Fans. A lot of, uh, a lot of, uh, raw footage of great shows of Turn Tomorrow 2, American Rana, Point No Return. You can find American Rana, Point No Return on, uh, SmartMartVideo.com, MP4s. Try Beyond Wrestling. You will love it. It's awesome. So, as always, Make sure to like and subscribe. Make sure to support the show. Buy a shirt. Prostees.com slash the Sean's Two Cents. Have a great day. Peace.